We are witnessing the achievements of mankind in the field of renewable energy and advanced technologies dedicated to the development of a green economy. Expo, Day 48. Follow the sun rays. Interesting animation is offered to visitors of the expo in the model of the heavenly star. However, you will have to stand in a long line for hours in the pavilion Nur Alem. According to estimates, on the average, more than 1,500 visitors visit the exposition per day. The sun is the largest source of energy. It is known that it emits energy equal to 380 trillion tons of terawatt, and the distance between the Earth and the sun is 150 million kilometers. And imagine, in just eight minutes, the sun rays reach our planet. When people enter inside, they see the most beautiful places on the planet, and it reminds them that our planet is the only planet where people can exist. Therefore, the main idea of this installation is that we must protect our planet. Indeed, entering inside, the guests will see on the screen of a 360 degree how sunlight travels. Light from the heavenly body penetrates into the seas and oceans, into forests and islands. It gives energy to all life on our planet. The sun is a source of heat due to which a process of photosynthesis takes place and plants release oxygen. One can find five minutes to spend on such a sunny session to once again realize all the greatness of the sun. From time immemorial, ships traveled by sea using sails. Why not now resume it? This idea has prompted several scientists to design an eco-friendly view of cargo ships and call it a quadriga. It will move at the expense of energy which is produced from the wind. Depending on the route, it is able to use 60-80% less fuel compared to conventional vessels. So carbon emissions will also be reduced. In 2009, 15 such large cargo ships produce as much carbon dioxide as 10 million cars. This is very harmful for our environment, and this vessel is designed to provide itself with electricity through four matches, and in the storm, winds to work stably and generate energy from the wind, and at the expense of this, it provides itself with electricity. If you consider that all emissions are in the living nature of the seas and cause great environmental damage, the ships will be able to change the situation for the better. While such a vessel has not yet been built, the authors of the project are actively looking for sponsors and supporters of the ecology who would undertake it. Thus, Kadriga can become the largest sailing cargo ship and a harbinger for a new green direction. Inventiveness, creativity and orientation to the future, that's what the Pavilion of Romania does for Expo. This country represents its laser technology. The first laser was developed here 55 years ago. And the guests of the Pavilion will be able to see the first machine which created the Miracle Ray. And now the engineers of this country are working on the creation of the most powerful laser. Laser, which is now in Romania, Laser, which is now in Romania, is already going through a test. It should be ready in two years. It must be said that this is the most powerful, the largest laser in the world. And to understand what it means, the most powerful, imagine that this laser has a power of 10% of the power of the sun. Such a laser is planned to be used in medicine, nuclear and space science. The guests of the pavilion can also learn about the people who made the first inventions in the world. For example, the first person who invented the pen turns out to be Romanian, or say the first city that introduced street electric lighting was also in Romania. <laughs> 